Welcome back to the shop. This week, working on keeping things cool. So moving the engine back on the frame gave me some more space in here. So I think I got about seven and a half inches here between this bar and the front of this idler pulley. And getting as much space in front of this engine before the grill was crucial for getting the radiator in. And also the intercooler and the AC condenser. So given that I don't have a whole lot of space between the engine and the radiator, I opted to get rid of the mechanical fan, which stuck out like, uh, probably stuck out about four or five inches, I'd say. And I've elected to go with, uh, with an electric fan. Now this fan's a little over two inches thick. It's probably like two and an eighth. And uh, I'll tuck it in this corner here. So hopefully I can get it all in the fit. So this radiator is all aluminum construction, three rows. And uh, it was initially designed for early 70s Dodge cars like the Charger, Challenger, Barracuda. And it even has uh, an automatic transmission uh, fluid cooler provision on it. And this, uh, this intercooler is a three inch wide uh, bar and plate intercooler. And it has connections for uh, three inches in and out here. And this is just the stock Ram 2001 AC condenser. It's a little worse for wear. I think I got hit by something in there. But I'm gonna use this for mock-up, and then if it all goes well, then I'll get another one. So while all that was happening, I got some new tires. So these are the tires that I ordered up. These are Toyo are Open Countries. They're uh, 37 by 1250 on 17s. And they are sitting around some uh, Vision 403 Tacticals. These are 17 inch rim and they are 10 inches wide. They have a full bead lock and quite a tactical look. These are kind of a hybridized mud tire. They're not a full true mud tire. So they'll do a lot better in terms of uh, being a little bit quieter on the highway while still maintaining an aggressive rugged look. All right, let's see what they look like when they get on there. Nice. So the 37 inch tires add about three inches of lift to the truck. And in terms of the width, I'll have to add about six inches of fender to clear the tire. So now this truck's over a foot wider than it was before, measuring out at 87 inches or seven foot three. And now back to working on the cooling stuff. I'll have to mount this intercooler. So I've marked out where I'd like to cut it uh, and remove some of the pieces so I can get it to uh, sit in this little area here. And then hopefully from there, I can attach it at about grill level so I can maybe I'll fabricate something that goes straight over that and holds it from the top down. And then last but certainly not least is the AC condenser. Now I need one inch or just a little bit more for the width of this. So I think at the worst case, I can hide it right here. I'll just take this bar out. I should be able to get it tucked away in there but I won't know until I get it all mocked up. So here we go.
All right, so here's a bit of an overdue update. So I've went ahead and made a core support bracket to mimic what the old core support used to be like, except for I made it so I could remove it from the bottom here with these two half inch bolts so I can take this whole front off as one clip. And then up here, looking down, I have my radiator, I got my intercooler, and I have a horizontal support to keep the top of the core support uh, square and where I want to. And then back down here is I got the uh, radiator fan in there. So the radiator fan is a tight fit. If you look down here, we have the idler pulley there. And if we continue to focus this, yeah, uh, it just misses. And it should be, it should be fine right there. As for the front intercooler support, it fits behind this grill that I put back uh, and installed. So I have everything just tacked up right now, but I'm gonna double check it and see, uh, see if I still like it. Then coming down here to the front passenger side, you can see the uh, lower radiator hose and the input to the engine. Also, you can see that there's a uh, the three inch uh, input to the intercooler and it comes out just past the core support. And then going up here, I'll be able to run a straight shot or somewhat of a straight shot to uh, this turbocharger once I clock it. And then also on the driver's side, here's the output of the intercooler. And that'll take a shot up here to the intake of the engine. So also I've welded this temporary uh, piece of square stock across the top uh, just to keep everything in place while I mocked all these things together without it shifting around or moving on me. So here I got the turbocharger impeller housing off. Just having a look at her. She looks in pretty good shape. So now I'll put her back together and give her a little clock to in the right direction. All right, so I got her clocked in and uh, misses the shock tower here. And then it's a short, it's a short run right from uh, here to here. So I got the intercooler piping mocked up and tacked in. Uh, this is the hot side. This is the cold side up into the engine intake and they seem to fit pretty good so I'm gonna burn them in. So I'm pretty happy with how the core supports sitting there and mocked up so I'm gonna burn it in for good. All right, so I finished burning the core support here. Uh, this provides a good view of how I made it removable. You can unbolt it here at the bottom with these two half inch bolts on each side, and then the whole front will come out. Also, I've made it so that you can pull the intercooler and the radiator out from the front of the truck instead of trying to lift it at the top because it's pretty tall now. All right, so I got the intercooler piping all done up and hit up with a lick of paint, and they're ready to go back in. Got the intercooler stuff back in, and I got the pipes on. This one comes around, snakes up, and from the other side, it snakes up to the intake here.
So one of the neat parts of working on this truck is you can pull the fender off and then the side off the engine bay and then you can get access to the engine. And also this big tire doubles as a seat. So now that I'm up here, I'll show you that I've been working on it, getting this turbocharger buttoned up. I got the oil feed line into the top of the turbocharger and then I would actually found, get some light on that. I actually uh, found some more turbocharger drain hose or drain piping and then I welded it together behind there and uh, painted it up and that's all in there for good. Also, I got the block heater wiring hooked up. Uh, I figured I would do that before it got too tight in there and then I just uh, tight, tighten it up with a uh, elastic band for, for later. So in here, my accessory mount's supposed to go here, but it's still stuck in custom, so I'm gonna still have to wait for that. So once I get the accessory mount, I can put the AC compressor in, and then I can get this uh, installed and make sure that uh, everything's gonna be good. And there's just enough space there that it's gonna fit.